What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Tommy's Kitchen. Well today, I figured since now we're finally in the, in the fall season, I figured we would make some apple cider. I was looking around for this recipe for a while. I did do a test run on it last week. I wanted to film it last week, but I had no one to film, no one to film me. So I figured instead of letting all the apples go bad and everything go bad, I would just make it and it came out freaking really really good so now let's head over to the ingredients table and I'll show you guys what you're going to be needing to use alrighty everybody this is what you're going to be needing to use we're going to be needing some cinnamon sticks some measuring utensils some whole cloves of one nutmeg one cup of brown sugar we got and we're needing one, or one orange four granny smith apples four gala apples four red delicious apples a strainer a potato smasher, a cutting board, and a knife. And we're going to be needing some cheesecloth. And then for when we make everything, we're going to be needing this pot. And then obviously, whenever, when it's all done, we're going to be needing a pitcher for our apple cider. Alrighty? So now, let me cut everything up, and we'll get everything started. <music> myself got a little boo boo. My little on. <laughs> All right, back to the cutting. So now the apples are in the pot. So now you're gonna take your cheesecloth and you'll probably get about maybe this much length. I don't know, I think that's about like a foot length. So what you're gonna need is take take four cinnamon sticks. Just cut them in half. Or just do what I do, just rip them in half. And now you're gonna take your I need one more cinnamon stick. There you go. Now we're going to take our whole clo cloves. I think that's their call. And we and we need one tablespoon of those. Just use the rest of it because there's nothing left. out now this is the tricky part because you need one of these nutmegs and when I did it last time there they were kind of a pain to cut so just be careful on what knife you use alright so now once you're done with that You just put your nutmeg in, in this cloth here. And now, I'm going to fold this up. Take this, take your rubber band or a tie, whatever you have. I used a rubber band last time. Just tie this up. And now we're going to be needing to do is take your brown sugar. Take your one cup. Your one cup of brown sugar, Just toss it in, and now 
The last thing you're going to want to do is you want to fill, fill, we're going to fill this up and I'll, I'll pick this back up after we fill this up with water. All right, guys. So now that we got all our water in the pot, you want to turn on our, our stove on high. And what you want to do is you want to put the top on and you want it to come to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, you're going to want to leave it, leave it like that for one hour. So after all that, after all that happens, we'll pick this video right back up. All right, guys. As you can tell, it is now boiling. So now what you want to do is you want to set a timer on your microwave or your phone, whatever you want to do. Set it for one hour. So I'll pick this back up after that one hour. All right, hour. guys, kind of ran into a little bit of an issue here. It kept on overflowing, so we had to switch the, the thing. What I come to notice is that I leave it on high, and then since this pot really doesn't have anything for the steam to go away, kept on overflowing so what I did was once it comes to a boil lower your temperature so that it still stays boiling because it's not going to boil any any harder or higher once it comes to boil you know so that's what I'm doing I'll update you guys again when everything is done because we still have another 49 minutes to go left of boiling the apple so I'll update you guys then alrighty guys our hour is finally up so now what we're going to do is get my little mitt. What we're going to do is open this up. Nice and bubbly. And now what you want to do is grab your potato smasher. And now you're just going to be smashing all these apples. Doing this and filming at the same time is very tricky. <laughs> Alright guys, so now, after you smash up all your apples, now what, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to have it simmer for two hours. So now we're going to have it simmer for two hours, and I'll pick things back up when we're done with that. Alrighty guys, it has been two hours, so now what we're going to do is, turn it off, and what you got to do now is, you just got to let it cool completely off. So that's probably going to be, probably another three maybe four hours i'll check on it every now and again but at, but once it once it's all done cool off we'll pick things back up once again all right so now it is cooled down enough it's still a little warm but it's cooled down enough so now what we're going to do is strain this out with a cheesecloth on top we're going to squeeze it out but before we do all that the first thing we want to do is is to take this thing out that we had our cinnamon sticks and stuff in Looks all weird now. Just take it. Put it in the trash. So now, take this cheese cloth. And put it over. And then, you want to help me out? Dump some in. enough to start so now what you want to do is wrap up your cheesecloth like this you're just going to want to squeeze out the juice so now basically you're going to want to do this for the rest of your rest of your pot and then what I didn't do last time, what I do want to do this time, is that once once we we reached the bottom, like after we were drinking it, see how it got like all apple chunks on my hands? So after I strain this out, I want to strain it out like maybe like two or three more times to so make sure that it's just mostly juice. All right, so we cleared everything out. We put it all in this pitcher here. It actually got a lot more than last time. We got like a full, I don't know, what is this, a gallon? I think this is probably like a gallon. So now let's give it a try. Good. It's a little warm, a little still warm, so it's gonna taste a lot better when it's cool, but it's still really good. You can still have it warm. If I were to add anything to it, maybe I'd add some vodka or maybe some fireball. 
give it a nice little cinnamon more taste to it. Alrighty guys, back in my mom's office now. I just want to say that is how you make apple cider at home. It came out really good. You guys will definitely like it. And you guys will you guys should definitely try and make it for like Thanksgiving or something. So so that wraps up today's video. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, please consider subscribing. And if you want to stay up to date and whenever I post a video, hit that bell button. And please share this video with your friends. And also, before I forget, as usual, follow me on social media. The links are in the description. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Tommy's Kitchen. Bye. Oh,